back to another video. So, um, um, I always start my videos with an um. Just gonna do a. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick gel polish design today. I didn't want to do anything too long because it's so hot, so hot, guys. So I have literally just pulled out a couple of colours. I've pulled out my Madame Glam today. This one, which is Rosy Nude. I am loving this pink nude at the minute. It's beautiful. And I've pulled out this because I said so. It's like a pinky purple. You can see it there on the lid. But it's a bit of a neon pinky purple. But, yeah, just two colours. And I've pulled out two glitters. Not sure which one I'm using yet. I'll wait till I've painted the nails and then decide. So this is a Silver Hollow Hex Mix from Charlie's Nail Art. And this is called Jack Frost from Glitter Stella. Not sure which one yet. But we, we shall see. Right, I'm going to start by giving my nails a quick base coat. I'm using Madame Glam base coat. And then that will get cured in the lamp for 30 seconds. Right now I'm going to paint the first three with the rosy nude and the pinky I'm going to do with the because I said so great name that isn't it because I said so I, I seem to say that to my partner on a daily basis because I said so <laughs> Right, I've just gave the pointer finger and the ring finger a matte top coat because I'm going to be painting on them. I always say it, but for anyone that's new, when I'm freehand painting on nail, I prefer to paint on a matte surface. So I'm just going to put some of the, because I said so, on my palette. Right, what I'm going to do on this ring finger, I saw this on Savvy Land um, Instagram. Um, it's kind of an extended nail bed but instead of colouring in the free edge they kind of just blended I'll show you I'll show you rather than explain it I'm so rubbish at explaining things I'm just going to faff about with this nail bed for an hour and then I'll show you Right, once, once I'm relatively happy with that, it's quite even. I'm not too bothered about the bottom bit. Right, I'm going to use a little brush. And I don't know if they used alcohol or anything, because it was literally just a quick flick of a video of what they did. But they kind of faded this down. That's what I'm going to try and do. I'm just using a dry brush, there's no alcohol or anything on my brush. I think I'm going to try a little bit of alcohol just to fade this bottom bit down so you can't see the lines so much. I'm going to be covering the bottom of this with glitter anyway. There, like that. Can you see that? That looks alright, don't it? Like I said, this bottom bit is going to be getting covered with glitter. So I'm not too worried about that. Right, I'm going to cure that in the lamp so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'll do this one as well. Exactly the same. 
Right, that's them out of the lamp now. I'm going to give all these nails a coat of base coat and we're going to get some glitter put on them. Right, so I'm going to go with the Jack Frost nail. I did want the silver hollow, but the hexes are quite chunky in this and this Jack Frost has got smaller hexes, so I'm going to go with that one. Right, so I'm going to start with the pinky. I'm just going to use a detailer brush to do my glitter. I just want a glitter fade coming down from the top on this pinky. Right, that's them two nails, I'm happy with them. So I need to be very careful with this glitter now. I don't want any of it to go over that pink line. I still want you to be able to see that pink line. So I'm gonna use these smaller hexes to go up the sides. There's tiny hexes up the sides. And then I'll use the bigger bits towards the middle. Right guys, that's all my glitter done, so I'm going to get them cured in the lamp. I'm going to give them a quick top coat and a file and a buff off camera, just to get all that glitter sealed in. Right, I've just pulled a couple of gems out I'm going to put on the ring finger. Oh. So I'm just going to put a little bit of rhinestone glue on this ring finger. And get some of these gems stuck on. Right guys, that's them gems cured on, so I'm using Madame Glam top coat and we're going to get these finished. Get this glitter to come to life. Leave that bling nail till last.
I'm going to use a detailer brush to top coat around these gems. Right, let's get them cured. Right guys, that's that the, 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 <laughs> that's that set finished. They are very, very sparkly and glittery, aren't they? But I like them. I love that nude pink. I do. I wish I would have faded this darker pink, purple. I wish I would have faded it down just a little bit more so you could see it a bit better. But um, I really like them. I do. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I really, really like them. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Remember, guys, I have now got a 30% discount code for Madame Glam. It's always in my description box with the link to the website. Um, but, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my videos. And hopefully I'll see you all in my next one. Take care. Bye.